Okay, well, I stashed an extra dub of the Hayward show in my locker at the health club. Are you sure David doesn't belong? It doesn't matter because there's an extra copy in my uh, dad's safe, the gallery, and there's another one tacked behind the fridge. You know, you are and... an expert at this espionage stuff. Oh, yeah, you know me, only in the service of truth and justice. Well, your camera setup is the one that cinched this Hayward stuff. Uh, just doing my job. Production assistant? White Knight. You want to tell me why the White Knight has black circles under his eyes? Ah, <sighs> long night, little sleep. How about a sugar rush? I don't think it's gonna help. Oh, come on, I got a plate of chocolate croissants and really sugary donuts. Liza, how about, how about a personal question? How personal? What happened to the sexual revolution? I mean, did you catch any of that, or were you too young? <clears throat> Casual sex, is, is, that, is, that, is that gone for good? You know, that's not really a question, that's a questionnaire. <sighs> Care to pare it down a little bit? All right, women. Mm. Okay, now, if they have sex with a guy, do they expect to be uh, attached at the hip or what? Care to share with me the woman in question? Jillian? Well, I thought her highness was otherwise engaged. No. I've been seeing her nod her scepter no, no, in Ryan's no, direction. She, that's just her style, you know? She, she, she flirts, mm. and, and, and mm. it's all meaningless. But Lavery, I don't think he's a serious contender. How do you know for sure? Last night. Dare I ask? <sighs> Seems Jillian's found her one true love. She thinks it's me. Yeah. You have just confessed to a grievous error. This is hardly the time for routine business. What I have to say about Dr. Allison Doyle is anything but routine. We are here to deal with the Chandler debacle. And unless you're suggesting that Dr. Doyle was somehow involved. Perhaps if you'd let the man get a word in. Thank you, Mr. Cortland. This is a vigilant board committed to maintaining a state-of-the-art facility. Enid, I've been very impressed with your hands-on leadership, as well as your careful attention to detail. What has this got to do with anything? However, in a hospital this size, there can be oversights. And Dr. Allison Doyle is certainly one. Although her work has been extraordinary, her record, on the other hand, has thus been... You know what? You want to get into my record, that's fine. But I would like the honor of explaining that myself. Thank you. <clears throat> There's something... Uh, Jake, it's all right. No, 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 no really. Go on the I've abortion. waited for the shoe to drop long enough. There's no reason to get defensive. Uh, excuse me, what are we talking about here? Doyle or Chandler, or have we moved on to something else? Dr. Hayward was trying to speak. Dr. Doyle, Dr. Martin, please sit down. You'll have your chance when Dr. Hayward is finished. Dr. Doyle's work has been brilliant. But for some reason, it has been largely unsung. Perhaps because of her volatile temperament and inability to wait her turn. <laughs> Perhaps. But nonetheless, she is an outstanding professional. And that's why I'm nominating her to be chief resident in charge of emergency services. You asked me to come up with a recommendation after I looked at the group. Yes. At an appropriate time, which is not now. Well, I thought that since we're all here... We're all here to deal with a far more pressing matter, on which more remains to be said. Congratulations, Dr. Doyle. Thank you, Mrs. Nelson. But really, there are plenty of other qualified not residents... Not as gifted as you. Well, that's not even uh, remotely accurate, I'm is it? Too. I'm too. I'm impressed. I move that we approve Dr. Hayward's nomination. Honestly, I'm honored, and I, I would I love to take... I understand. I'm sure you need time to think about it, so why don't you get back to me in a day or so? Now, if you and Jake would excuse us, the board needs a moment with Dr. Hayward. Well, uh, wait, just a moment, please. Am I the only one here that wants to hear what young Dr. Martin was so eager to tell us? Dr. Hayward covered it. Thank you. Your carelessness nearly cost the life of a patient under our care. The board needs some time to decide on a course of action. We'll let you know as soon as we have done so. Of course. Thank you for hearing me out. 
You've been very patient and very generous with your time. I'm sure your final decision will be fair. Excuse me. Remarkable man. Are you referring to Haywood? He's so gracious. I must be losing my mind. Oh, grace under pressure, that's admirable. David Haywood nearly killed a man. After 40 straight hours on duty. A shift like that would daze St. Luke. I think we should look into that. Perhaps shorter rotations. What we have to do is decide what to do about Haywood. Yes, well, I'm inclined toward leniency. Yes, so am I. One lapse and <clears throat> such a sterling career. I want that man out of my hospital today. So Jillian referred to you as her one true love? Well, words to that effect. No offense, but she's a bit excessive. I mean, never fine when splendid will do. Never happy. She's ecstatic. Maybe you overreacted. Love, commitment, the future. <laughs> Liza, I'd love to hear another spin. And how long has this been going on? Oh, gee, I don't know. About 12 hours now. So one night with you, and she's permanently attached to the hip. Well, I wish you... Many years of happiness, what Mr. Mean, that, Brad Pitt. That, that, that's it? I'm, I'm choke chained for life? <sighs> Sit. Men sometimes say things in the heat of passion, Scott. Not that they don't mean them at the time, Liza, in the what light of I day. I, 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 okay, how about I love you? No. I adore you. You're my dream come true. Never. I, you didn't fly her with wine or champagne and look hypnotically into her eyes. Oh, but Liza, she was in my bed when I got home. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Kick her out? Well, Jillian wasn't raised in a convent. I mean, she is the kind of girl who goes after what she wants. I mean, I, I like her. I mean, I think she's great, but uh, exclusively? <sighs> no way. So, uh, is that wrong? No, no. For a guy like you, your age is in the manual. You have silos of wild oats to sow. I mean, so I'm not the bad guy no, here? No, you are a good guy. You're also free and clear, Scott. Now, how do I get that message to Jill? You say sayonara, and you run like hell. Well, that's rather harsh, don't you think? Suspension, a, a man of Dr. Hayward's reputation. Not suspension, dismissal. I want him packed and gone by the end of the day. Joe, let's not be rash. He's a brilliant cardiologist. And a man whose recklessness almost killed a man. Joe, Joe to err is human. Well... I mean, perhaps that's acceptable in computer repair. We hold doctors to a higher standard. No one died. Adam Chandler came very close. I'd settle for a reprimand. Alma, what if it happens again? With you as the patient. Would you want him medicating your wife or your child? Would you entrust your life to his care? He has a point. Now, it's more involved here than just the basic issue of malpractice. Hayward has a character flaw. Oh, Dr. Hayward is a model of civility. Yes, who is ever so quick to indict another doctor for his own mistake. But he apologized. Oh. Well, that's fine, isn't it? That's just great. I mean, who cares if he nearly ruined another doctor's career? Aha! There we have the crux of the matter. You want to punish Dr. Hayward because he accused your son. Well, if that's how you all rate my integrity, perhaps you'd better look for another chief of staff. Oh, huh? Joe, let's not be carried I mean, someone you respect and admire. A David Hayward, perhaps. I, I move for an immediate recess. Yes, I second the motion. I Always agree. Try. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail. Don't count on it, Enid. This is Dr. Martin in the hearing room. I want you to find Dr. Jake Martin. Tell him I want to see him right away. Did you see him? He had him eating out of his hand. Oh, it doesn't matter. We got what we wanted. Well, I wanted him to burn in hell. That he came across as some martyr. Same sincerity. Mm -hmm. oh, or the genius who worked too hard. 
Enid Nelson was ready to put a, a medal on his no, chest. I know, I know, but I, I got my job back. Yeah, but I just, I hate the idea of them buying into his crud. You know, cardiologists are human. I mean, what a piece of work. No, but it's over, all right? We pulled this thing off. For one minute, let's just be happy. Okay? You're right. All right. You're right. You're I know right. I'm right. I'm always right. I'm so relieved. Can I just tell you how relieved I am? <laughs> Congratulations. Wish I could say the same, but um, I choke. Your father would like to see you in the hearing room. Mm -hmm. What, are we supposed to believe that Joe sent you here to deliver that message? The desk nurse was asking around. I better check on it. What for? To make sure uh, David's telling the truth? Come on, this is a bit of a, a, a far no, leap, no, don't you think? okay. You want to come with me? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Thanks. Well, well, well. A masterful performance for the board, David. You've outdone yourself. Thank you. What's next? So did you throw me the residence job for the sheer pleasure of watching me squirm? You're a magnificent doctor, Allie. You earned it. Sorry, I can't accept it. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, give you more leverage. Game's over. You won. Really? Mm hmm Just like that. Clever strategy. Cleverly played. Of course, you had teammates, and I had none. I'm not complaining, though. It was an even match, given my superior skills. So that's all it was for you, hmm? All along, it was just a game, just like I thought. You don't get it, do you, Allie? Life is for the players. Everybody else sits on the bench. Oh, a player. Is that what you call it? Mm hmm. Hmm, how interesting. Putting lives and, and, and careers on the line. And for, and for what? A rush of victory? How incredibly empty. No, not for those of us who enjoy the win. So, what do you get from throwing me this job? What do you, what do you win? My gratitude? On those rare occasions when I happen to lose, I like to do it with style. You should try to be gracious in victory. Of the two, it is the easier job. So what did the board decide about Hayward? Well, some of them wanted to give him the Nobel Prize. Look, I want him gone. I need your help. Uh, I can't. I, I, I've done my bit. Yes, with the help of that videotape. Would you mind telling me what's on it? Would you believe me if I told you a Steve McQueen flick? Well, I suspect it's the tape that brought about his confession. Mm-hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that you were wrong? Look, who are you protecting in this? Now, it can't be Hayward. There was a deal. Hayward stepped forward. This is me holding up my end of it. Dad, there's other people involved, and they just, they, they don't deserve to get hurt. Okay, uh, just clear one thing up for me. This slip-up of Hayward, was it really accidental? Well, there you go. He's capable of doing something like that deliberately. He's a menace to every patient in this hospital. Well, yeah, I don't think the guy is a cold-blooded killer. Oh, my. That's wonderful to hear. I want to send him packing, but I need something solid. You'll figure it out. I mean, you always do. You caught on to me. No big trick. I raised you. Yeah, you also taught me to keep my word. One more thing. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I just... No, no. Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You're so serious. You know, I think.
think you're terrific, right? Not magnificent beyond belief. Yeah, that too. But the thing then is... Then cheer up. I'm all yours and I'm famished. Let's order some food. Jillian, please. I just don't think this is going to fly. Fly? Oh, I love the way you speak. Maybe you can teach me your colorful expression sometime. Jillian, I think we should end this now. Okay? And what? You and me. In light of your strong feelings, we've revised our recommendation. Good. We will add a warning to Dr. Hayward's reprimand. One more slip up and he will be dismissed. I'm afraid that's unacceptable. It'll go on his permanent record. It's not good enough. Shall we execute the man? I want him gone. Joe, I doubt if we have sufficient cause. Try this. Haywood's slip-up was intentional. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You can't be serious. That's an appalling accusation. It's an appalling act, but it's true. Impossible. I have it from an unimpeachable source. Well, Who is this source? Joe, bring him forward. Either you trust me on this or you don't trust me at all. In which case, I will resign. Dave, would you look at him? He doesn't even look nervous. Worst case for reprimand. We still got the tape. Ooh. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, we've reached a decision. Come. You think he'll come out wearing a laurel yeah. wreath? No, no, Dad has anything to say about it. Come After a great deal of discussion, we finally reached a consensus. We will accept your resignation. You'll have my resignation first thing in the morning. actually over. I don't believe it. How can I be sure? Because we have the tape. David's a wild card. Nothing he does would surprise me. We honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye-bye.